Hello everyone, I'm Apple Review over the tutorial on what my background is. Uh, I did it in Photoshop. I combined two tutorials that I followed and basically combined this. I may do just the first tutorial or I'll just do both of them combined, which basically it's these neon lights going around, but I don't think I'll be able to, so I'll probably just do another video on it. So you want to open up Photoshop. I have CS 5.5, so if yours isn't exactly like set up like mine is, then don't fret, it's it's fine. So you're gonna make it just a new document image. Make sure you set the width or height if you want it for a desktop background to whatever your monitor can handle. If you're doing it for something else and do it to whatever that specifies. Make the resolution about three hundred pixels per inch and click OK. So now you've got this. Uh you wanna make the background like a gray, a dark gray, light gray, whatever you want. Then just click OK. And then you want to do control or command backspace, so that fills up the entire paper. Then you want to go to filter, lens correction. It's already. Alright. Okay. Well, basically, it did it for me, but you can go into lens correction, custom, and then you can add a vignette, which will just like add to dark curves. Usually, I do it to about here. And then you can just darken it as much as you want. Then you click OK. So now it looks like that. You want to make a new layer. Uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the gradient tool, and you want to click up here. Make sure the gradient type is set to noise. Roughness is about 70%. And you're just going to keep randomizing. I've I found one which is already good. But basically, you want to find a lot of. Oh, well, actually, no. I'll just keep randomizing. You want to find one which doesn't have like blocks of dark or blocks of light. You want to find one that's kind of mixed. Like this is too light, way too light. I would go with something along the lines of. Definitely not that. Probably this. So we, we click OK. You're gonna shift, drag down the paper, click OK. And then you're gonna do uh, Shift Control U, because that gets rid of all the color, or Shift Command U if you're on a Mac. Then you're gonna go to Image Adjustments Levels, and then you're just gonna drag the dark up, and then drag the white down. Make them more mid-tone grays. And then here you're gonna do Control T, right click and you're gonna do actually wait no leave it as it is and you're just gonna drag down the top and then you're gonna drag up the bottom so the height sensor you can use it kind of as a guide like if it's thirty percent less than a hundred it means for both I did about fifteen so you can right click and then do perspective and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this up not all the way to the top but close to it and then you're going to do the top left on the left hand side all the way down so it's like really cool right click and you do skew so then what you do is you just grab the middle and the left move it up make sure the middle of the left isn't all the way up it's nearly there then on the right hand side you do the middle right and move it all the way down well, nearly all the way down so that right there is what you can do i'm not going to do the warping but you can basically do warp and curve it however you want so it looks a lot better but since this is just basic tutorial I'm just gonna keep it as it is so click on the check mark and then you're good now you wanna create a new layer and this is where it gets fun you're gonna select your brush tool gonna make it about 130 pixels at 100 percent hard then you pick colors so I'm I'm feeling a blue, a dark blue. Okay, so that's a dark blue. Then you just basically lower it from not, like not as dark to lighter, so it can look a lot cooler. Or you can just do a certain pattern that you like. So this is one that would like this you can call it like a winter effect or whatever. Icy season, whatever you whatever you want. 
So you just keep doing that. Make sure it fills up the entire thing. Now it doesn't have to be like ex exactly like extremely pretty, but you just gotta make it look good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just make it look somewhat decent. Okay, and then just go like this to finish it up. Okay, so now we've done that. Looks like a mess. You're thinking, wow, what are you doing? Well, what you're going to do is you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And then, I already have it set, but you want to set it to about 75 pixels. And then click OK. So that looks really good. But then what you want to going to do is Control or Command J. Duplicate the layer. Do it one more time. Okay. So it really boosts the... Uh, contrast of everything. Now over here in the layers bar you're gonna just make sure the top one selected, click on lay hold shift and click on layer two, and then you want to do control E. Blend them all together. So now you're thinking, wow, this still looks awful. Then you're gonna hold what you're gonna do then is you're gonna hold the Alt key, go in between the layer one and layer two, copy two, and then click. So now we've got that. That just looks really, really good. And then you want to go to um, style. You want to go to overlay. So now that looks extremely nice, extremely like cool, the nice icy effect. So now that we've done with that, we're gonna make a new layer. And then this is basically like that star effect thing. So you're gonna go into brush, go to default 60. And you want to go to this thing. Now this is CS 5.5, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn shape dynamics on, scattering on, make sure the count is at one, count jitter is at zero, shape dynamics, uh, just keep everything as it is, make size jitter 100% though. Uh, then when you're done with that, you want to select like the foreground color. So I'm just going to go with like a yellow. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to like drag it all the way down. You can even make it like come off the sides a little bit if you want. Okay. So now that we're done with that, we just want to like duplicate this layer. So control J so we don't lose that initial set. Then we're just going to shut off the top layer and click down back down on this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this about overlay no, overlay is not good. That's that's too bad. Maybe soft, oh, soft light. No. Um. Okay, let let's go with vivid light. Looks really cool. So you can just play around with that, make it vivid light. See how it's like kind of disappearing into it. So now that we've done that, what we can do is we can go filter, blur back to good old Gaussian Blur. Now we're not going to do 75 pixels because that's way too drastic. We're going to bring it down to about yeah, 5. 5 looks good. So now that we've done that, we want to turn this layer back on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this to soft light. So it's a more deeper effect and that just looks really really good. So that's how you do that part. Now I'll put a link in the uh, in this video later when I do it of how to do the neon lights but this is what we'll use to run off it so i hope you enjoy this video guys uh... i am at papal reviewer i'll be doing more photoshop tutorials dreamweaver tutorials after effects tutorials anything you want really and i'll gladly do them alright guys peace